Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5. The exact model for this one is an A514-53-56UF. That information can be found on the bottom sticker. This one this do come in an iCore 510 Gen, yours might be a little bit different. And that information can be found right on top of the serial number right over here. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can add the RAM or remove the RAM that it is in here. And I made a really short video, how you can find out your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in the video description so you guys can check it out. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to take you on step by step, how to open it up the proper way and how you can remove the RAM from this slot and what's the proper way of installing it in there and a few tips here and there if you plug yours it doesn't boot up doesn't give anything i'll tell you what to do, do um, during that case all right first thing first by upgrading the ram you're not going to modify anything in the system you don't have to do any other configuration or anything like that so let's go over the tool the tool number one and the most important one is a screwdriver set i recommend you guys to grab the ifix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there these are made out of S2 class steel bit, that means they will last you many years. You're going to use the Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a, a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers, and they do come really handy. So with these two on hand, you're going to get it started. Power of the laptop, flip it upside down. And down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove all the screws. Remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so keep them in one pile, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, down here, you will see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws, they are not all the same size and height, mostly they are the ones that they are really short screws, they are the one in the front row. These are three of them, so you can remove this one, keep them in a separate pile, as they are the short one. And so keep these three screws in one pile. And the rest of the screw, including the one in the middle, don't, this is a sneaky one in the middle, it's hiding. These are the medium, or I should call it the long screws. Keep the rest in a different pile so you don't mismatch them with those small ones. You don't want to put a big screw through here, otherwise it's going to puncture to the palm rest and it's going to look bad. So remove everything else and keep them in a different path. Also, if you guys find my videos useful and you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. There we go. So we have the two screws right there. Now, next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick, and we're gonna start from the bottom corner. We're gonna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover. And what you wanna do, you just wanna twist it like that, and you wanna hear those click sounds. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You wanna do this all around in the front end and to the sides, to the mid. I'm sticking about one or two millimeter. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick inside. Do the one in the back right here in the corner. And that should be covered up. But once you do the side and the front, there's no need to go in the back. You just grab it from the front and just wiggle it around. It will just release itself. All right. Uh, be careful with this uh, Ethernet jack hooker, whatever you call it. All right, down here, you're going to see the whole battery. And right away, you can see the ramp. It's right in here. These are DDR4 RAMs. And before we get it started, people is always, before you upgrade or remove the RAM, you should remove the battery. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. You don't need to remove the battery in order to do the RAM upgrade. It's totally safe to do it without any issues. But for those people that are really paranoid, they want to do this, all you need to do is to put your fingernails at the side of the jack right in here and pull it back evenly and the battery will get disconnected to put it back in evenly push it in and pinch it right through here and that's how you plug it back in 
Regarding the RAM, the RAM is only one RAM DIMM available. If you go to the Windows uh, Task Manager, it might tell you there is a two RAM DIMM, one out of two, but there is no two RAM DIMM available in here. There's only one. So to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers beside it away from each other and the RAM, oops, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And all you want to do is you want to grab it on the same 45 degree angle and you want to pull it out. Okay. These are uh, DDR4 RAM, 4 gig, uh, 2,666 uh, megahertz. Okay. You can grab the new RAM up to a 16 gig. We have tried a 16 gig in here. And make sure the notch on the RAM matches right the notch right in here. So if you try to put it the other way around, it's not going to go through. So you have to flip it, doesn't matter what orientation, color, sticker it has. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the jack. And then you just want to push it towards the motherboard. And you want to hear these two triggers clicking. And that's how you can upgrade the RAM for this laptop. Once you put the RAM in there, you don't have to put the cover on to power on and test it. You can just open it up and power it on without touching here and test it out. And if it doesn't post, just power it off, remove the RAM and reinsert it again and power it on and it will work. Sometimes you need to do it two, twice. And then sometimes you have to attempt to doing this twice in order to, for it to boot. Sometimes, very rare cases. Once you got your laptop posting, next thing you want to do is grab the bottom cover, put it straight right on top. You want to squeeze the bottom, the front side, and you want to hear those click sounds. Those are the clips that are getting loose. They're getting tightened up in there. So press those corners. And one of the last thing would be to just grab the front screws, the short ones, put it in the front of the end of the laptop, and the long screws, it goes to the mid all over the uh, casing.